the many new buildings rising toward the sky in our area, but do we ever think about who is building them? One study shows that it's 90% men working in the construction industry, but that could be changing as more women get high paying jobs in construction. New tonight, Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers shows why a woman's touch could make beautiful buildings even better. Under construction and rising high, the residences at 400 Central in St. Pete is a point of pride for a woman under the hard hat. Because of it's going to be the tallest building in, in, in the west coast of Florida, so I wanted my name on that. Daniela Farias, Sofia Maneco, and Sydney Rocha are part of the 10%. Only 10% of construction jobs nationally are held by women. So I think that maybe they'd be a little discouraged to join this field due to the low numbers. But some big construction companies are looking to raise those low numbers by filling good paying jobs with females. People from different backgrounds, different cultures, different educations, they all bring a wealth of knowledge and experiences that, that diversify who we are and help us be better as a company. Sophia, Daniela and Sydney are part of Suffolk's Career Start program. Recent college graduates who do eight month rotations in different parts of the project. I work with a concrete subcontractor, work with the steel, all the rebar, and then also uh, the MEP, the mechanical electrical plumbing trades. Their college degrees are in engineering and architecture. So to put more females under hard hats, it will take more girls taking STEM classes in school. If a young girl has a role model to look up to, or, you know, if they see that it's more common, then I think more women will be encouraged to be in the field. Some say women are better with details, organizing, and design. Now, whether that's true or not, the thrill of the build seems to cut across the genders. I started here in July, and we were in the second floor, and now we're in the 24th floor. So it's, it's amazing. So we've done more than 22 floors since I've been here. So yeah, it's like walking every day to the side and seeing how just going taller and taller. It's, it's very cool. And it's a hot opportunity. With a labor shortage, Suffolk and other companies are looking to fill good paying jobs that were once virtually men only. But now, as new buildings rise, old glass ceilings could be coming down. I think I never had that in my head where I, you know, I can't do something. More women to help build the buildings, a changing mindset in the buildings that are changing our skyline. In St. Pete, Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. That building will eventually rise to 46 stories, the tallest residential tower on this side of the state. And we know of at least three women in hard hats who plan to be there when they top it off.